especially the twinkling Christmas lights and the flickering Advent candles. When Christ, the light of the world, is born, it is fitting that we celebrate with lights. This time of year, when the nights are long and the days are dark, I sometimes start to wonder if we will ever see the sun again. At times like those, the lights on the Advent wreath remind me of our verses from Isaiah. People who walk in darkness have seen a great light. For those who live in a land of deep shadows, light, for sunbursts of light. For a child has been born to us. There will be no limits to the wholeness he brings. These verses remind us that Jesus is our light in the darkness, the King of Kings who brings wholeness to our world. The Advent wreath represents the coming of Christ to us. It is a circle with no beginning and no end. It has evergreen wreaths which survive the long bitter winters. And it holds candles which give some bursts of light in the darkness. On our Advent wreath, the blue color symbolizes hope. A blue Christmas is not a sad one for Christians. It's a hopeful celebration. The first Christmas might have seemed like a season of darkness for Mary and Joseph. Newlyweds, far from home, with a newborn baby in an animal trough, they might have felt a little hopeless. But God gave them bursts of hopeful light, a healthy baby, visiting shepherds, a bright star, and singing angels. Luke tells us that Mary was not hopeless, but instead pondered the angel's works, reflecting on God's powerful work in her lonely world. There are a lot of dark things in our world this Christmas. Friends are sick. Children are hungry. Families are homeless. Soldiers are fighting. And neighbors are suffering. We are truly walking in a world full of darkness. But we have seen the light. A child has been born. There will be no end to the wholeness he brings. Childlike faith is exactly what I need at Christmas. It gives me hope in God's promises. But sometimes we confuse wishes with hope. A wish is like a dream in my imagination that probably won't come true. For example, I wish I could eat Christmas cookies for breakfast every day. But a hope is something different. Hope is believing in a promise. Hope is a gift from God. Hope is trusting God's promises even in an uncertain and dark world. True hope is faith in the evidence of God's promises even in a world full of darkness. On Christmas, we celebrate God's promise of a Savior. On Easter, we celebrate God's promise of salvation. Because God has kept these promises, when I say that I hope in Christ, I mean that in the midst of a very dark world, I trust God's light to shine through Jesus to the whole world, bringing justice and peace. Together, we celebrate God's light coming to earth in the form of the baby Jesus. Just like our candles on the Advent wreath, a baby seems very small and fragile, but light in the darkness is a powerful force. God's light comes through love, the love of a Savior born to us. God's light comes through peace, the peace proclaimed by the angel choirs. God's love comes through joy, the joy of the shepherds sharing everything they had learned about Jesus. And God's light comes through hope, the promise of the prophets fulfilled. <laughs> He'll take over the running of the world, and there will be no limits to the wholeness he brings. God's promise came to us in a little baby. 
But that baby's birth is not the end of the story. Jesus, the Messiah, calls us to celebrate not only his birthday, but also his life and resurrection. We walk in the light when we carry God's light of hope to the world through peacemaking, social justice, and reconciliation. However great the darkness, the light is stronger and even more powerful. Christ has freed us from the darkness of oppression, from violence, and from death. God's kingdom brings peace and justice and righteousness to all of us. We celebrate God's power and Christ's love in the hope of a little newborn baby. In a world full of darkness, we have been changed by God's light. By God's light of hope. And God's light can shine through each of us. God sent the light of the world to us at Christmas. So live as children of the light. <laughs>